Hello, fellow fragrance lovers, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm giving you some vacation vibes because I am reviewing some products from the brand Vacation. So if you'd like to know my thoughts on this very creative, very unique, very awesome brand, you know, stick around. And of course, if it's your first time here, welcome. I am Limelight Lass. I am primarily a fragrance channel, but sometimes I delve into some other topics. But for the most part, I like fragrances and really anything that gets you noticed, gets you attention, puts you in the limelight. So if you're into that sort of thing, I think this is the place for you. So please subscribe if you have not already. I would really appreciate it. And let's get into this wonderful brand, Vacation. I'll take my shades off for now, but I'm just enjoying, you know, the the springy weather and I cannot wait for summer. So I think this line of products is going to be really, really good, um, you know, in the in the upcoming summer season. But I've started using them already. So let's get into what I got. So as far as the brand vacation, I, you know, they've just gotten on my radar Fairly recently, I guess a couple months ago, I saw a lot of their social media ads and I love them. I am pretty much a child of the 80s. I mean, I was born in the late 70s, but my childhood was all spent in the 80s and I love anything 80s related. As you may know, I did a video on powerful perfumes of the 80s and that was probably one of my favorite videos that I've done. But anyway, um, I just love everything 80s related. So their all of their campaign images and just the whole vibe of their brand is very 80s. So I appreciate that. So I was intrigued. So I did, um, I put in an order. A, it was a while ago, probably, um, I don't know, over a month ago. And I got the sample of their vacation perfume and fell in love with it. So I did recently just get the full size of it. So I will be showing you that. But I also got some sun products that I'm really excited about. So I'm going to start with the Vacation Eau de Toilette. And this is what it looks like. So I have, I ordered all of this directly from the Vacation website. And what I love about it is everything comes in these like old school pharmacy type of bags. I just, that's a little detail that I absolutely love. But... Um, and the other thing that's really cool about this brand is that you can go on, um, they have a, they have their own little website that has, and you can scan like the little QR codes here and it takes you to their little like leisure website that has, um, a radio station and it has like old TV clips and things like that. It's, it's really, really cool. I've never seen a brand do anything like this. So, but anyway, see, I'm, I'm going off track. Sorry, <laughs> but so we'll start with va the vacation perfume. So I'm going to preface by saying that this perfume, yes, it has like sunscreen vibes to it, obviously. And they do have a sunscreen that I don't have here, but I guess it smells similar to this. But this is not the same as some of the other very popular sunscreen fragrances. So I don't know, you might have heard me talk about some other fragrances in my collection that I really, really love. I'm one of those people who does like that sunscreen vibe. So I would say in my collection, Bobby Brown Beach, Replica Beach Walk, and Ellis Brooklyn Fawn, they are definitely in the same category. Not that they smell exactly alike, but they're pretty darn close in their vibe, that sunscreeny vibe. And maybe to an extent, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I put them all kind of in the same category. This, it's weird, like, because this does have a sunscreen vibe to it, but it's very, to me, it's different than those other ones. So if you if you are like me and you have all of those or some of those other fragrances that I just mentioned and you're worried about being redundant or anything, I don't think this really actually smells like those, but it does smell strangely like sunscreen, but like 80s sunscreen. So let's get into the notes here. So the fragrance notes for the Vacation Eau de Toilette. I love that they put them on the box because, you know, it makes it easier for me. Uh, Pettigrain Essence coconut water, 
coconut milk, bergamot, solar musk, banana, pineapple, pool water, swimsuit lycra, and sea salt. And I know that sounds really strange, you know, um, some of those like fantasy notes, but I swear you do get them. Like you do smell some swimsuit lycra and, and pool water, but it's not in a weird off-putting way whatsoever. It's just enough of a hint of it to make it a little bit different. I'm also going to read you what it says on the back here. Contained herein is the signature scent of vacation brand sunscreen developed in collaboration with, and especially for vacation bar, by Arquise Perfumer. Vacation is a rich and distinctive olfactory odyssey that immerses the wearer in the inimitable sunscreen experience. Outdoor plans optional. With vacation, all of your best sunscreen memories are conveniently bottled and sprayable on demand with interpolated notes of coconut, banana, pineapple, orange blossom, pool water, swimsuit lycra, and a playful touch of inflatable pool toy. So let's get into this fragrance. So I have worn this many times. I wore the samples, you know, because I got the samples first, wore the sample, and then um, here is the bottle. I love this very, you know, to me, this is a, a pretty 80s looking bottle. So this is a one ounce size. So I got these from the website, as I said, but now they are, I think all of these products are available through Ulta. So just another another place where you can, can pick these up. Okay, so I'm going to spray this just so I can. So I was a little worried at first because if you know me, <laughs> you know, um, I've mentioned before, I do not like banana and that's kind of why I don't like tuberose usually is because tuberose smells a lot like banana. So I will say in the very, very initial spray of this, you do smell the banana note, but luckily it just kind of, you know, fades away and blends into everything else. So it does not bother me whatsoever. So I was really happy that that didn't, that didn't bother me. So this is, oh my gosh, it's so good. And you do get everything. I do smell that pedigree right off the bat. And that's a note that I realized that I actually do really like. It's not in many, I feel like it's not in many fragrances, at least not in many fragrances that I have, because I usually veer toward more kind of like unisex or more masculine, you know, the tobacco and, you know, all those so I don't have a lot of scents in my collection with Pettigrain, but I realize that I do like them. You get that. The coconut in this is not an overwhelming, like, overly sweet um, coconut. It is definitely more of a coconut water, but it is, it's not, like, if you're worried about it being too cloying or, you know, smelling like a pina colada, it's not like that whatsoever. I will say this is very unisex, and I believe that is how it was intended to be. So it does not lean overly feminine to me. Oh my gosh. And then you definitely get the musks. So the banana and the pineapple are there, but it's, again, it's not overly sweet and fruity. It's just a very subtle nuance. I think the really brilliant thing about this fragrance is that it does, you know, as it's meant to, to, to do, it's giving you this immersive experience of what it would be like to be laying by the pool with your sunscreen on, like with your pina colada, but, you know, and your pool toy, like everything all together. And not, to me, not one note, like, dominates the others. They are very harmonious. And you do, it's the strangest thing, like, you do smell the swimsuit and the pool toy in this. But again, it's nothing to the point where it's weird. It's not, like, overly weird. It's not a strange smell or anything. But it just gives you that experience where... Literally, if you close your eyes and just imagine that environment, this is the, these are the smells that go along with, with 
laying the pool. So to me, this is much more of a pool fragrance than a beach fragrance. To me, this is actually not, su I mean, I think it would be great to wear to the beach, but it's not super beachy to me. And that you do get the little hint of sea salt. But again, I get much more of the pool vibes from this. And it's just a really cool, really different fragrance. So if you're looking for like a sunscreen fragrance, but that has, you know, something a little different about it, that it doesn't smell like all of the other sunscreen fragrances on the market, I very highly encourage you to try Vacation. It is just a really fun scent. So I'm definitely going to be enjoying this all summer. So another thing that I got is this uh, Super Spritzer Hydrating Face Mist. And this is blended by the legendary vacation brand of Miami with coconut water and aloe vera. And it says also vacation brand Super Spritzer is a prudent investment in oneself. It enhances the public image of the spritzy while taking poolside relaxation to new levels of satisfaction. With just one Super Spritz, the spritzy enjoys instantaneous refreshment as the skin and temperament are rejuvenated by the calming effects of chamomile and the hydration of aloe vera and coconut water. With vacation brand Super Spritzer, one quickly discovers just how good poolside lounging can be. So this is a really nice face mist that helps you to um, kind of refresh, like they said, and hydrate. So, and I have really dry skin, so I appreciate this. I'll spritz a little on. Has a very pleasant scent. And it's really, it's very refreshing. So I'm really excited about this. This is to be used in conjunction with your sunscreen. This does not have sunscreen in it. But it's really refreshing. So if you're getting really hot at the pool, maybe your skin is, feel, you know, when you're in the sun a lot and you have dry skin. I know for me, my skin feels really like tight. This definitely helps to refresh. So love that super spritzer. Now this is the Chardonnay Oil Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen Oil. Chardonnay Seed Sunscreen Oil by the Eternal Vacation of Miami. Clean, lightweight, and refreshing for an enviable shine. So I really like sunscreen oils, but I also hate the feeling of anything greasy on my skin. And I have to tell you, like this is so nice because it does give you, you know, that nice little sheen to your skin. You can see there. But this does not feel greasy. Like I can, I can actually have this on my hands. Usually with oil products, I have to like wash my hands right away. It's like the weirdest thing. It has a very, very, very subtle scent. It is like a, it is like a champagne type of scent or Chardonnay type of scent, but very, very subtle. So again, you know, if you're a guy and you're afraid of, you know, smelling, I don't know, like something too feminine or sweet, this is, this is not an intrusive type of scent at all. It feels so good. And SPF 30 is typically what I, what I use. But this is great, so I can't wait to really, like, slather myself in this when it is time to get to the pool and, you know, lounge around in my swimsuit. Okay, the next couple things I have here are these desserts. Um, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Lip Balm Sunscreen things. Lip Balms. <laughs> so I have Strawberry Jello Salad which literally smells like strawberry jello salad. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I also got pineapple upside down cake. So they have other, you know, scents that are very reminiscent of, oh my gosh, it's so good, of 80s desserts. So you might think like, okay, well, what's so special about a lip balm? But let me tell you, I have experienced, and maybe you have too, I have experienced sunburn on my lips. My lips are very easily sunburned. And if you know, you know, like lip sunburns are so painful. <laughs> like, they are terrible. It is the worst feeling. And it's just one of those things that you kind of forget about. You forget that your lips need sun protection, but believe me, they do. So these are so fun. They smell incredible. 
And they give you that SPF 30 protection, which is really, really important. Actually, I'm going to put some of this on because I am going to be out in the sun today and I don't want to be, I don't want burnt lips. So these are great. And again, you know, they have several fun flavors. So, so those are my thoughts on this brand. The vacation brand in general definitely gets the limelight last two thumbs up. I am loving everything. I plan on getting more from this brand. I definitely want to try the regular sunscreen and, um, yeah, maybe, maybe a couple other things. You know, there aren't too many other products in, um, in their repertoire as of now, but I'm hoping that they come out with some more things. So let me know in the comments if you've tried anything from vacation or if you'd like to try anything from vacation. And of course, as always, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.